an important use case in dataverse that is called as recursive workflows when there is a business requirement that you want to call the same workflow multiple times in recursive way then you can use this use case for recursive workflows you can declare the same workflow as a child and call that self workflow as a step in the same workflow it may be confusing but let us start designing so that you can understand so let me create a new workflow by using this workflow option but let us first understand the scenario okay so let me open the scenario so the my, my scenario is whenever a new transaction is created in model driven apps which is connected to data for entity when a new transaction is created in the system every 5 minutes it will check what is the current status of the uh, transaction if it is still pending not completed or not failed or something if, if it is still pending it will create a task or it will send an email reminder email to the owner to take action right so the intention is i want to run a workflow in a loop or recursively to do to perform some job by waiting some period of time and checking a condition right so for that i do not need to design any multiple workflows rather one workflow will sufficient so let us go and create that so I'll go here and create a new automation workflow process and define here a reminder transaction process recursive. Here I want to define the table name SBA transaction and I want to run it under background workflow option because it will keep waiting for some period of time and keep processing as a loop or a recursively so click on create once you click on create it will open the workflow designer where we will design next information like what is the trigger and other flags now here you have to design define that this is also treated as a child process so this workflow for our scenario recursive scenario this will be the parent workflow plus at the same time it is the child workflow so that it will call it call the same workflow recursively now scope use organization and start when record created right now i will scroll down and add the condition for demo purpose i want to add one minute condition wait condition so click on wait condition and define wait for one minute and click on the condition to configure i want to wait one minute so process timeout is equal to one minute after sba transition created on seven close right now what it will do it will send an email first it will check a condition so click on check condition in the check condition it will check the current status click on the configure condition and here i want to define sba transaction current status code is equal to initiated that means every one minute it will check the status of the uh, transaction and if it found that it is initiated then it will send an email so click on this and add an action here so click on uh, click on create uh, send an email and type down send email and in the send email i can define to whom i want to send the email so in the two address i want to define 
the owner of the transaction and subject action required pending transaction and here I want to define the dynamic content of uh, uh, transaction number and in body I want to define dear owner I can use the owner field dear owner the transaction is still pending please take action okay that's it this is just a sample uh, subject regards and I want to put the owner information again regarding the SPA transaction and click save and close you can define the due date also when you want to send this email and the due date you have defined you can define the SBA transaction or process execution time which is nothing but the current date and time when the process is executing now save and close so at present what it will do when this workflow will run uh, it will check it will wait directly one minute after the record is created and process this and do the check and send the email but how to call that recursively right here I want to add another condition so here click on this add a parallel wait and click on this and click the click to configure and define what is the SBI transaction status reason if is equal to initiated if it is still initiated what I want to do I want to call the uh, so it is parallel waiting right if it is still initiate if within one minute the uh, status becomes uh, completed or failed then it will not work right then it will uh, it will not create uh, it will not send an email but within one minute if it is uh, if in one minute if the uh, status is completed I don't want to do anything right so it will keep waiting now this wait condition is not equal let me delete this okay I want to call it recursively right so what I will do I will send the email and call the do one step inside that only inside this if condition only I want to call the same workflow using start child workflow and call child workflow and use the same same uh, workflow what is the name of the workflow the workflow name is reminder transaction process click on look up more records and this one reminder transaction process click on add now save and activate now remember let's understand what we have done here so what it will do when a new SBI transaction record is created it will trigger after some seconds because it is background workflow and it will keep waiting for one minute and when one minute is timeout it will check the SBI transaction current status if it is still initiated it will send an email again it will call the same workflow when the same workflow will be called again it will try to use this condition timeout until one minute after SBI transaction right 
so it, this condition will also be satisfied right and it will check what is the current status again it will send an email so it will do a recursive process again and again every one minute right now activated and test so let me go here and test this click on new and define a bank account type let's say credit credit 600 and save it now initially when you save this transaction the status updated as initiated now after some time the workflow will call i can check that in advanced settings and the system job because all background workflows are queued in system job for processing now this is the uh, process that has been created reminder transaction process recursive now what is the status the status is waiting for timer now after one minute it will create an activity i have already created one which is not required let me uh, postpone this and i can delete this because i don't need this this is the old uh, workflow i have created now this is waiting for resource waiting for time because it will keep waiting for one minute from record created on now if you open this it is still waiting for one minute and once the one minute is time out it will check the status and do the rest of the work now i have not updated the status it is still initiated so let us wait for some seconds because some seconds are left to uh, to to be one minute so let me open it again right so one minute is completed once one minute completed it checked the status yes it is initiated it sent an email again it called this child workflow the same workflow now this workflow job is completed but it will create another instance of the same workflow if you refresh you see this one again created okay this way it will keep creating multiple instances of the same recursive workflow and call multiple times the same workflow you see how many times it is created okay now if you go here you will find the activities that are created against this record now these are the emails that has been created right the point here is this design the current design only checks first time one minute wait for one minute but when it will call next time this condition is immediately satisfied so it will not keep waiting for one minute that's why uh, multiple times the process uh, uh, gets triggered immediately without waiting uh, one minute uh, from first execution onwards because this timeout for uh, second run or second instance uh, gets satisfied immediately right so what you can do instead of timeout until one minute after sba transition created on you can define something like one minute after process execution time so that it will take the consideration of last process execution time to calculate the waiting condition so click this and delete and define one minute after process execution time save and close now this way it will keep waiting for one minute at least because the condition is always taking from the current workflow execution time and plus one minute then it will run it will keep waiting now activate and test this now let me create another transaction to double check 
spread it and save it now it will create another instance let me refresh this now this one is created uh, this is something else so let me delete this first i will postpone this i have already created one flow so i am postponing and deleting this right now my workflow now recursive workflow is created this one instance is created and what is the corner status the corner status is waiting for time now once the one minute is completed it will execute the uh, logic we have written it will send an email and it will again call the child workflow now when the child workflow will call the same workflow again it will come to here first and check what is the current time if the last exe process execution plus one minute is equal to current date or not if it is current date then it will process right so let us check still one minute is not there not completed still waiting for time now waiting for resources now it is in progress now succeeded right now once it is succeeded it created another instance now this is success let me check this is succeeded and again it called the same workflow now let us open the second workflow instance if you open second workflow instance it is keep waiting because the last process execution time was different it will add plus one minute when it will be completed it will again do the same check and do the send email and call the child workflow so in the meantime what i will do let me check the activity that is created because of the first run status i can find in the closed status closed activity now this one created right no not uh, yeah this one this is the email that has been created let me refresh this i'm expecting one more email email activity because of the second workflow instance after one minute okay let us wait yeah now it created second one because the second instance run and executed successfully but in and in the second run the status is still initiated right again it will create third instance of the workflow and uh, wait for one minute from last process execution time try to check the status of the current sbi transaction if it is initiated it will create another one but in the meantime what i want to do i want to change the status to I want to change the status to completed now this one that is created and i want to mark it as completed activate now what i'm expecting is because i have completed this if i'll go and check the workflow status this is the third workflow that is keep waiting what i'm expecting this workflow will check what is the current status of the transaction and it will go out it will not initiate another instance so it will re run recursively two times only because we have updated the status in second time now let me refresh you see guys the third is in third instance of the workflow is success and the send email and the child workflow didn't call so recursive stopped because i have updated the status as completed and if you go to related activities also in the closed activity you can only see two instances two activities no more activities but if you keep the status initiated every one minute you will see one new email record created for this transaction record <coughs> so i hope you understand how uh, recursive workflow can be used as a child workflow step same workflow calling multiple